Hi guys, so it's Alyssa here, and I know you guys had a lot of questions about Walker Stalker Con and my experience, and um, I'm just making this video so you guys are informed about it, so you, next time you guys go, or if you want to go for your first time, you're, like, educated about it, and you have, a, like, the best time that you can. So, let's get on with it. Okay, so these are the um, next shows that they're going to have. They have Charlotte, North Carolina. That's the recent one, next one that's coming up in December. Um, they have the Walker Stalker Cruise. They have the Walker Stalker London, Chicago, San Francisco, Nashville, Atlanta again, and New Jersey. So, ticketing. There are four different kinds of levels of ticketing. You have general admission, which just gets you in. You get a two-day general admission, three-day, depends on how many days the con's going on, or you can buy them for specific days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, if you buy like a two-day pass or a three-day pass for uh, general admission, you'll get um, a lanyard that looks like this, let's say two or three-day pass, um, gets you in general admission all weekend. Um, if you just get like a one-day pass, you'll just get a regular wristband, you won't get one of these lanyards. Um, the next VIP is general VIP. That's the next level. Um, that is about $250 before tax and that just gets you in, um, it gets you in earlier before general admission. It gets you, um, seating, um, and all panels behind the, um, gold and platinums. You also get, um, a lanyard too. I don't have a recent one this is from back in 2014 but it'll look something like this smaller more laminated um and you're just a general vip and that just gets you specific lines ahead of general admission but you're still going to be behind gold and platinums i don't personally think it's worth it if you're going to atlanta or london because the lines are just so long and i think that general vip is oversold a lot um, if you're definitely going to Atlanta, you want to get a gold or a platinum if you want to meet the bigger guests, definitely. Uh, the next um, VIP level is gold VIP, and this is the one that I had this past weekend. Um, you need this or a platinum to be able to meet Andrew Lincoln if he attends Atlanta or um, London. Um, this comes with two autograph vouchers and two photo op vouchers. Um, it also comes with a free t-shirt. This is the one I'm wearing right now that I got for free. Um, it, um, gets you seating behind all platinums in all panels. Um, it gets you in every single day. You get to go ahead of general VIPs and general admissions, um, in the specific lines. Doesn't matter what line you're in, you get ahead of them no matter what, even in photo ops. Um, the photo ops that come with this, the vouchers, you can only use those for solo ops, you can't do them for duos, you can't use two of them, like if there's a Norman and Andy op, for example, you can't redeem those two for that duo of Norman and Andy, it has to be separate ones. Um, so yeah, when you go and let's say you're going to Atlanta, you want to use one of your vouchers on Andy, you just say, hey, I want to use one of my photo op vouchers and one of my autograph vouchers on Andy, and you can only use one of them, you cannot use both on him. Um, it's, they're very, very strict there, so, yep, this is what you get, and it's definitely worth the money. This is about $750 before tax, um, ended up paying after fees and everything, I think $825 on this, but it's definitely worth it. Um, I do not have a platinum, but, um, that costs about $1,500. You get four autograph vouchers, four photo op vouchers, and you also get, um, a guide to guide you around, carry your stuff. You get to eat lunch in the green room, which is where the celebrities are. Um, you can't take pictures in there, I've heard of. Um, it's just, basically, you get in front of everybody else and you don't really take long in the lines, but it's a little pricey, in my opinion, and I think you'll be just fine with gold if you're going to the bigger ones. If you're going to a smaller con, you're fine with general VIP because they're not as oversold as Atlanta or London. But if you're going to either of those, you definitely want a gold or a platinum. If you want to meet the bigger guests like Norman and Andy, definitely, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan, anybody like that, you'll wait less than anybody else. Um, they also have, I know they don't have these for other cities, any, they don't have these for um, Atlanta or London because they're so big, but for the smaller cons like Charlotte, I know they have a Tom Paine celebrity VIP. This is the one I had in Chicago last year. Um, definitely smaller con than any of the London or Atlantas, but 
this if you can get a celebrity specific VIP I got Melissa McBride it came with um, a photo op already included it also included one of her autograph vouchers and it can only be used on the specific celebrity that you buy it for um, and then after that you are you just basically get ahead of general VIPs and general admission but the gold to platinums will still go before you before you can meet whoever your um, VIP is specified for um, and then after that you're treated as a general VIP for any other lines that you go in these can range from 350 to 450 dollars um, this one cost me 350 um, definitely worth it though because you're basically guaranteed to meet another thing with the vouchers um, they're basically treated like money so let's say you have um, like a gold um, voucher will say gold and um, photo op voucher and if I was going to use that on Jeffrey Dean Morgan if I lose that it's treated like money so you cannot be replaced no matter how much you ask them they will not replace it whatsoever um, also when you get when you turn in your photo ops you have to you'll have a card I'll put a picture in here somewhere and it'll say Norman Reedus Saturday photo op group A if you lose that yeah, you can't get that back whatsoever. Um, also, whenever you get your tickets, you have to go to will call. So basically, they'll have booths set up right outside the convention or wherever hall it's in or whatever. And they will, that's where you go. Everybody has to go to will call to turn in your printed off tickets. Once you get your ticket, it'll be emailed to you. You need to print that off or you can show them your phone and they'll scan it from your phone. Um, and that goes with photo ops too, you need to print those out. I think you really need to print out those photo op ones. I don't know if they can scan those from your phone, but I know they can do your like general admission VIP tickets, they can scan off your phone. But you need to turn that in so you're able to get your badges and your tickets and everything like that that you can use at the con. So for photo ops, um, they're usually done through celeb photo ops. If you go onto the website, you'll click on what city that you want for Walker Stalker. Let's say, for example, if I'm going to Charlotte, I'll click on Charlotte and I'll say buy tickets, photo ops. You click on the photo ops and I'll take you to the website where you purchase them. Now you want to pre-purchase them because um, you can pay with a credit card online when you buy them at the con. They're cash only. Um, also, the more popular ones like Norman and Jeffrey, they'll sell out super fast. Um, you have to buy those online beforehand. I highly doubt there'll be any available at the con the day of. Um, so once you get your photo op ticket, you print it. You print it out, and when you take it up to will call, they'll give you a card. Like I said, it'll say Norman Reedus, um, Group A, Saturday, and um, you have to look at the photo op schedule. They'll usually have that out um, about two or three days beforehand, before the con comes out, maybe a week before. And it'll say what group you're in. If you're a platinum or a gold, and let's say you have Norman Reedus Group A, you'll go actually to the um, gold and platinum time. It'll say Norman Reedus Photo Op Gold Platinum Time, and that's the time slot you're supposed to go to. And they advise you to go 30 minutes before your scheduled time. So you're in line, you have your ticket, and they go very, very fast. The photo ops, you're in and out in three seconds. You go up, um, pose, take the picture, and get out. They'll be yelling at you, they'll be screaming at you. Um, just try to make the best of it. It's not a, it's not a meet and greet, it's just quick picture, in, out, you're done. Um, um, but with poses, um, they said on celeb photo ops that you can show the celebrity a picture on your phone, or just a picture in general of what pose you want to do, or you just have to tell them very, very quickly because you don't want to hold up the line. Um, with my Norman and Andy ones, I showed them a picture and um, they were all for it. He also, um, they have rules in the photo op room, no kissing, no lifting up the guests, no telling the guests to pick up you. Um, just be respectful and ask, don't just go in and hug them. You need to ask them first. Um, but if you have a specific pose in mind, just show them on your phone and um, they have to agree to it. Um, don't feel bad if they don't, because sometimes they don't. Um, so once you once you leave the photo op room, you'll follow like this tape, and it'll take you to the printers. And with each photo op, it includes an eight by ten printout of your picture. So you'll go and you'll get the printout, and that's it. You do want to get plastic sleeves. They sell them there for five dollars to hold your pictures. Um, 
I bought, you can buy those on Amazon for very cheap. Um, instead of paying $5 for them at the convention. Um, so yeah, if you want a digital download of it, you can go to the tech that's right next to the printers. You'll say, hey, I want to buy a digital download for my picture, and they'll access to you, and you'll go on to their website and download it right away as soon as they activate it for you. Um, it costs $10, I know. The digital downloads do. You can also buy di uh, additional prints as well. Um, you can just ask them at the convention, or you can pre pay for them online. Um, I wouldn't do that. You should just do it the day of because then you'll get charged a service fee if you buy it beforehand. Um, they'll never run out of digital downloads. They don't run out of those. They'll always have that. They'll always be able to print off some more pictures for you. Um, but very, but really keep a, keep an eye on the schedule. Make sure you're getting there on time. 30 minutes before your scheduled time. Really do that. Um, don't lose your photo op tickets, your little cards. Do not lose those. People will take them. They will pick them up and go um, and use them. Um, and the photo ops, the prices vary. You have to check on their website. Um, uh, a, a solo op with Norman will be a different price than a solo op with uh, Josh McDermott. It all just depends on the management, how they charge everything. Um, also, duos and trios and that kind of stuff are going to obviously be more money because there's more of them in the picture. Also, with um, groups on your photo ops, they'll tell you have A, B, or C group depending on um, how big the guest is. The bigger guests will have more groups. Um, I know Norman has like four groups or five groups because they sell so many ops for him. Um, um, each group will have a different time and that will be on the photo op schedule. Let's say Norman Reedus group B will go at 3.15 and group C for him will go up at like 4.30. You just have to check that um, that schedule and make sure you're following it because once you miss your photo op, you're, you can't do anything about it. Once the guest has left, they will not bring them back whatsoever. Um, you can try to get a refund from photo op, uh, celeb photo ops, and they'll probably trade it in for a different op that you have, pay you the difference, but that's it. And once you miss it, you miss it, and you're not going to get it back. So with autographs, um, each um, celebrity has a different price for their autographs. It's all on their table. It's all up to their management. Um, Walker Stalker can't pre-sell autographs. They can't really give you information about how much they're going to charge because they do not know what's up to the celebrities management. For the autographs, they only accept cash only the day of. So you be sure when you go to these, you have cash on you because you will be spending a lot. Depends on who you meet or who you want to meet, how many autographs you want to get. Um, if you DM me, I can try to see if I can figure out how much a celebrity asks for for their autograph or selfies. Now, not all celebrities do selfies at their table. Um, that is also another, um, that's also going to cost you more money. Um, I know the bigger guests like Norman, Jeffrey, Denai, Lauren, um, Melissa, they do not do selfies at their tables because their lines are so long. It'll just take more time and they don't, they want to get, be able to get through everybody. Um, but for example, like Jeffrey, his autograph is $80. Josh McDermott. His autograph was 40 and his selfies were 40 but they also do a combo where you can get both of them for a cheaper price. Like his combo was, I think, was $60. Um, I guess it all just depends on who you meet and how much you want to spend. Also, with the lines, um, each line you go up to, it'll say um, general admission, VIP, gold and platinum. So general admission section is going to be bigger because there's more general admission than there is gold and platinums. Um, and then there'll be general VIPs, then they'll have the gold and the platinum. And um, the people that go first, I believe, are disabilities, and then it's platinum. And then once they get those people through, they do a ratio system where it's um, four to one. And that means four golds will go, then two generals, and the general VIPs, and then one general admission. So um, if you're gold, don't worry. I, I thought it was going to take forever when they did the ratio system. and actually went by really, really fast, especially for the bigger guests. I think for Jeffrey, I only waited like um, 40 minutes for him. I was expecting to wait hours, which for some general VIPs and general admissions, they did wait 
like six plus hours just to meet him or Norman. Um, it all just depends when you get there, what place in line you are. Um, uh, Norman's line I know was really bad. Uh, some generals I think waited like eight hours plus just to meet him. Some general VIPs waited six hours. I heard that some golds waited four and some golds waited 20 minutes. Um, Platinums got by through pretty fast and Disabilities got through really fast because um, they're, they're the ones that go first. So it just depends how many people are in line in front of you. Just um, when you're going to one of these, have a lot of patience because it, it takes a lot of standing around and waiting. But it, in the end, it'll be worth it. Okay, so getting to it, what you guys really wanted me to talk about and how to meet him is Andrew Lincoln. So with Andy, he only goes to Atlanta and London, like I said before. And the only way you can meet him and you're guaranteed to meet him is if you purchase a gold and pl or platinum um, VIP ticket. Um, you can use your voucher, one of your vouchers on him. You can only use one autograph voucher on him and only one photo op voucher with him. And um, they're very strict about that. You can't use two of them on him. So when you go up to will call, you'll say, hey, I want to use one photo op and one autograph on Andy. They'll give you a special card and it'll have his face on it. It'll say Andrew Lincoln, Group B or Group A. Um, they'll email you, they'll give you information about which group will go at what time for his autographs and his groups for the photo ops is on the photo op schedule. Um, always check that schedule because it updates again and again and again so you always have to be sure you're checking that. Um, now um, they do sell panel tickets for him. The only people that have to pay for panel tickets is general, v uh, general admission. General VIPs, Golds, and Platinums, the, his panel ticket is included in your VIP package. Um, um, people are probably wondering why he does charge for his panel, and it's only because that he donates all that money to charity. Um, I'm not too sure what charity it is. I have to double check, but um, it is for a good cause. And um, like this year, they'll su sometimes they'll sell photo ops for him that General general admission and general VIPs have a chance to at least get a picture with him so they'll say we're gonna sell an Andy solo op or this year they only did the Norman and Andy one um, and they'll inform you when those will go on sale and you always have to check that because they do sell out really really fast I got lucky with the Norman and Andy one sold out in three seconds I was able to snag one um, a lot of people were upset about it because they didn't get them but you have still have to realize it's a lot of people, thousands of people going for only a few hundred photo ops at the same time. So um, just um, have patience. Don't flip out on Walker Stalker. They're trying their best. Andy's time is very limited. He only comes for one day. Um, so he doesn't always do photo ops all the time. I know in London he was going uh, he was going to do autographs, but he didn't. So he just did photo ops and that was it. Um, his time is very, very limited. Uh, I really hope I answered all your guys' questions. If I didn't and you have any more questions, please just DM me on Instagram. I'll link it below if you don't know what my Instagram is. Um, and I was really hoping this is informational. I really want you guys to experience and have the same experience that I did in Atlanta or at a different con that you have. I want you guys to be informed about it and not just go in there clueless and have it ruin your whole experience. Um, again, like I said, if you have any other questions, just DM me or ask them below um, and link your Instagram. I'll message you. Um, if you guys want me to comment or like this video, and um, I'll do more in depth of my experience and what happened. Um, I know some of you guys were interested in that, but I'm not too sure. So um, comment on this or like this and I'll do that. Um, I really hope you guys have a really great time. I'll be going to Atlanta in 2017. Um, I hope to see you guys there. Bye.